Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We've got a long image that when you scroll over it, it's going to go from bottom to top, top to bottom, whichever way round you want to do it. Fantastic little hover effect. Really great for getting eyeballs on your images on your site. We've recently done this with the Divi theme. Somebody asked us if we could do it with Elementor. Really easy to do. So let's get started. Oh, we've got a great fun one for you today. We've got three images here. Want to hover over them? They're going to scroll down to the bottom. They're long images there. And as you can see, they're scrolling down to the bottom. We recently did this with the Divi theme. Somebody asked us if we could do it with Elementor. Slightly different method, but same result. And that's a really eye-catching thing to have on your site there. So let's get started. I've got this page open with Elementor. Let's add a new section and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to hit the little plus to add a new section. I'll put three columns in my section as we did above. Obviously put in as many or as few as you need. And I'm going to add an image module funnily enough. There's our image module. I'm going to drop it in there. Okay, well, let's select an image. Let's do them in a little different order this time. As you can see, that's a pretty long image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off about here in the column and then create the hover effect we actually need. So let's go into the column and column is always the little gray icon right there. Let's just give this section a little bit of padding so we've got some separation there. I've just clicked on the section there. I'm going to add a bit of padding top and bottom. Let's uncheck that. I'm just going to give it 50 pixels all around. Got a bit of space to deal with there. Great. As I was saying, hit the little icon there on the left hand side to go into the column. I'm going over to the advanced on mine. I'm going to write some custom CSS in the custom CSS box here. Now I'm using the pro version, but if you're using the free version, you can put this CSS in your additional CSS panel. If I go down to my dashboard here, I'm using the free hello theme from Elementor. Great if you're using Elementor as it's optimized for it. Most WordPress themes will have somewhere to add additional CSS and usually you'll find it in appearance and customize. And there you'll see an additional CSS panel you can put this CSS in here. If yours doesn't have an additional CSS panel, just check your documentation for your theme. Okay, back to where we were. I'm going to write mine on the page here so you can see what's going on. Now, adding custom CSS is an absolutely amazing thing to learn. It really is. A lot of people get frightened by it, but don't. You can't mess up your site with CSS. If you do something and it messes it up, just delete what you've done. It'll go back exactly how the way it was before. And we're going to show you a couple of little techniques of doing this today using class names and some simple CSS. Really wonderful thing to know, like I mentioned earlier. If you're interested in the CSS, take a look at our simple CSS playlist on the site. We've got hundreds of examples on there for you. First thing we want to do is come up with a class name for this. All class names have a dot or a period in front. So put your cursor in there. We'll put a dot or a period. I'm going to call this SCRIM for scroll image. Call yours what you want. I like mine to make a little bit of sense to me. Then we can open and close some curly brackets. And in between, we can write the code that we want. Well, I'm going to give it a fixed height. Let's say 300 pixels, or as the adjust to taste, 300 px. And underneath, I'm going to tell it that anything under that 300, I don't want to see. So I'm going to say overflow, colon, hidden. Wait, well, you may have noticed that nothing's happened, or you may not have noticed because nothing has happened. To make something happen, we actually have to give this column, this class name that we just have ended, S-C-R-I-M. So I'm going to copy that, control C. Just going to go up to the top. We're still under the advanced tab here. Under CSS classes, I'm going to pop that in there. As you can see, that shrunk down to 300 pixels there. Fantastic. Okay, well, we want this 
little image here to scroll from top to bottom when we hover over it. So let's go back into the image. Again, I'm going to go over to the advanced, down to the custom CSS at the bottom. I'm going to put my cursor in there. I'm going to say dot IMGSCR. The image scroll, if you like. I'm going to open some curly brackets again. Okay, well, initially, I want it to be exactly where it is. So I'm going to say margin top dash top colon. I'm going to make it just zero pixels, which is just zero. I'm now going to copy that so we can create a hover effect. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down one and paste it. Control V to paste. Right on the end of the R there with no gap. I'll put a colon and the word hover. Margin top. I'm going to make that negative 100%, which will pull it up by 100%. So I'm going to select the zero, negative 100%. And again, nothing's happening because we haven't applied that class. Let's grab that class name without the dot, remember, just the actual name itself. Control C to copy. Go out to the layout at the top here. CSS class name. Boom. Now when I hover over it, it's going to jump up like that. But it looks to me like it's just jumping from the top to the bottom there. I want to slow it down so it actually looks like a scroll effect. We can do that really easily back into our custom CSS now. In the regular state, I'll just give it a transition duration. Transition dash duration. I'm going to make it pretty slow. I'm going to say 1.2 seconds, 1.2 S. Adjust yours to taste now when I do it. It's actually scrolling down there. And that's a really nice little effect. Now, of course, once you've done it once, really easy to duplicate. Now, because we got this moving, it's hard to grab hold of that little image module there. But what we can do is go down to our little layers icon here called the navigator on the left hand side. Pop it up. We're on this image here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to the column next door to it, where it says empty. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to go to the next column. I'm going to paste it in there also. Now we're actually on these. We can change out those images. Just click on the one next door to change the one next door. And to apply the column effect, all we need to do is click on the column and apply the same class as we had in this column here. Easiest way is just to copy it. Go back into the next column. You always find CSS IDs and classes under advanced there. Paste it in there. Same for this column here. Bingo. And we're all good to go. Let's save our changes here. Make sure this is all going to work on the front end. We'll hit the little eyeball to take a look. And there we have it. Fantastic. Excellent. Great. It's working just exactly how we want it to. And if you're still not sure what I was saying about the custom CSS, if we go back into this one, we'll go back in there. If I remove this custom CSS from here, control X to cut, or we go back to our additional CSS panel. I'm just going to scoot what there down. I'll give it a title and the title's forward slash star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between those stars will not be read as code. So let's say image scroll. And we can paste it in there. Control V to paste. And we want to do the same. The actual image CSS that we wrote. So we'll go back in there. Again, if you have trouble getting to your image, we can always get to it this way. 
There it is. Or you can just click on it anywhere. It'll take you to the image. We'll go down to our custom CSS there. If I cut this, control X, and go back to our custom CSS, paste it down below there. Now we publish this. We go back to this page now. We'll roll on down and everything should be working perfectly. Brilliant. And that'll work site wide now because we've got it in the additional CSS panel. So anywhere you want to do this to any of your images, you can just apply those class names to the column and the image. And of course, it'll work on any module. You can use it on a text module to scroll down and read more if you want to. And we've demoed that in the past. So there you have it, guys. That's how to create a scrolling image on Hover with the Elementor page builder. Really easy to do, as you can see. I'll put that code down below for you to copy and paste if you want to. It's a great idea though to write it so you get accustomed to writing it. As I mentioned earlier, it's a fantastic thing to learn. It really does take your editing to the next level. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please hit like, share and subscribe down below the video today. Comment, it's always great to hear from you. And as I mentioned earlier, Take a look at our simple CSS playlist. It should appear just over there any moment now. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.